the five best values in a classic Mercedes. Hey everybody, if this is your first time here, thank you for checking us out. And uh, if not, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the five best classic Mercedes for the money. In other words, the, the five classic Mercedes that are going to give you the most, the most value and the most car for the money. One of the cars that I can't help but think of right off the top of my head is the 88 to 91 300 SE. An underappreciated car that's very inexpensive with the bulletproof M103 motor and the very stout 126S class body. The 300 SE is totally undervalued. You can pick up good examples for $2,500 or less. They're extremely comfortable. I think the performance is good. Uh, I'd say one downside of the car is its propensity to need head gaskets every 125,000 miles-ish. And the fact that the fuel economy is not really much better than a 560 SEL. But apart from those two things, if you want a stylish classic Mercedes that's easy to work on and delivers the same sort of ride quality as a gas-guzzling 560 SEL, 300 SE is your car. Another car that I think uh, tends to evade the, uh, the, the public eye a lot is the 240D. I would say that the 80 to 83 240D is amazing value for the money. Not only are the cars simple to work on, but they're instant attention getters. They're super tough and they're very good long distance cars. Even if you won't be traveling at long distances at high speed, the cars will definitely get you where, where you're going, take you back, keep you comfortable, they have good air conditioning systems, they have good braking, suspension, and handling, and my favorite part, they have amazing visibility. So, nice car to consider. The third best classic Mercedes for the, for the money, uh, which I would say uh, is probably in the, in the sporting class, would be the 1976 or 77 450 SL. Why the 76 or 77? Well, those cars, if you want an inexpensive convertible, have long been unappreciated. Their values are starting to go up, but they're nowhere near as expensive as a 560 SL or a Pagoda SL. They have a tough engine. They have a fairly reliable mechanical climate control system. And of course, nobody can beat the drop dead gorgeous looks of the R107, which will always be an icon. The fourth car that I think is uh, a really underappreciated car is the 75 and 76 280S. If you want the uniqueness of the W116S class, but you want a car that has been generally not driven much or is kind of a unique car, the 280S is inexpensive enough to where you don't have to pay the kind of money you would for a nice 450 SEL, 6.9 or 300 SD, but you can enjoy having the uniqueness, the comfort, and probably the pristineness of, an S, of a W116S class when it was new in the 280S. A final car that I think is really great value for the money is the W201 190E or 190D. All the 201s are good value for the money because you can buy great examples for well under $6,000 that will give you dependable and reliable transportation, handle well, run well, and are generally very reliable. Parts are still not that expensive, and suspension work, brake work, uh, and even, uh, even interior work are not terribly complicated like they are in a W126 or uh, a, w, uh, a W202C class. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to know more about which Mercedes I think are the best, or actually my customers think are the best, let us know. And uh, in the meantime, think about supporting us on Patreon so we can keep the quality of these videos coming up. And if you haven't been a subscriber yet, become a subscriber yet, go ahead and do that too. Enjoy driving your classic Mercedes. Thanks.